Luke 20 verses 21 says, Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. Hello, Gifted Church podcast family. Because of God, you will never lack possibilities. We are so glad to host all of you and share God's word with you. May the word of God bring you a good change before the year is over. God bless you. My name is Stephanie and welcome to Daily Devotional Podcast with Pastor Kwame. Shalom. Praise be to God. We actually get into the last day of the month. I want to thank God for your life. I want to thank God for his faithfulness. I want to thank God for how far he's bringing us. And I know that the rest of the year, God is going to be faithful. God is going to be good. God is going to be consistent with us. Amen. And that is the reason why we can say, because he leaves, we can face tomorrow. That's the reason why we say that we are not afraid of what the enemy can do. We are in him and we are also for him. And the scripture says, if God be for us, who can be against us? And the Bible says, greater is he that is in you that is he in, that is in the world. And he says, be of good courage. I have overcome the world. There's so many good promises in the scripture that makes us begin to sing hallelujah. Let's pray. Alpha and Omega, you have done it yet again. You've given us a whole month of September and we are still um, not where we want to be. But we are still not where we used to be. And therefore, we count on your faithfulness. Continue to lead us not into temptation, but you deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Child of God, how are you? Um, Don't say anything but blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Don't say anything but his strength is made perfect in my weakness don't say anything bad my god shall supply my needs according to his riches and glory don't say anything but i know my redeemer leave it don't say anything bad it is well with my soul amen the god we serve is faithful all right let me share the word of god today i have a, a very interesting bible verse because for those of you that are aware of um my favorite bible verse you know i've been quoting this verse to you are hearing and you're probably tired of it Isaiah 40 verse 8 so my favorite translation goes the flower fades the leaves wither but the weather by forever but in this translation it says the grass wither and the flower falls but the word of God endure it forever amen I want to talk to you about the word of God today amen um, the word of God endure forever now the prophetic book uh, the prophet the prophetic books of the bible uh, if you become very closely re- um uh, if you closely study the prophetic books of the bible you realize that the prophetic writings are also very poetic and very uh beautifully done even though the prophet speaks under the influence god is even artistic when he's when he's speaking his mind and so you realize that the way it flows through Isaiah chapter 40 says comfort my people tell them that their warfare is accomplished and their sins have been forgiven and we can talk about prepare the way make the crooked pass straight shout and so it is just a beautifully woven a word of encouragement to the people and here he exhort the word of God in the writings and says now the, the grass with the, uh, the flower face but I want to get about forever now if you if you pause and you ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, teach me what you mean by that. Is you begin to realize that it's not just uh, just a beautiful scripture, but it's bringing out major themes out. So that's what we're going to do today as we talk about the Word of God. I'm going to take the Word of God and stand it next to the grass and stand it next to the flower. And if you ask the right questions, the flower turns to something else and the grass also turns to something else. So the first thing I would like to show you is that the word of God endure forever, but what what is it in the word of God that endure forever? It is the flowers in the word of God and the grass in the word of God. Those those two things endure forever within the word of God. And that's why I want to show you that. So the first thing you notice is the grass. The grass represents seasons of life. Seasons of life. Amen. So the grass is not a uh, a literal gr- grass but it is t- when you look at the grass in one season and you look at the same grass in another season you begin to get the sense of seasonal seasonal uh 
sense of life where seizing goes seizing comes and that is what is being captured by the grass and the seasons are not permanent every season in your life is not permanent uh, it's amazing uh, you have to embrace that there are some even people in your life that are seasonal yeah they, there's a place in your life that is seasonal your life will go through many seasons and uh, and if you look at your pictures it begins to show you seasons of your life so the grass in this particular verse represents seasons and i'll come back to that but i want you to begin to expand the verse so that when we start applying it you begin to see it so the grass represents seasons amen and if you stand next to the flower the flower also represent not just season but the flower now represent the kind of the splendor of life so the flower represents beauty the flower represents strength the flower represents money the flower represents the beautiful things of life you understand that so that is what you're looking at so you look at these two things and the the, the, the prophet now compares that to the word of god and so what i believe the holy spirit wants you to know today is the fact that what is it that the word of god brings to the table that seasons cannot bring and also beauty of life cannot bring and then the first one obvious one is that seasons and 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 strength and beauty and the beauty of life they have their expiration dates they have their expiration dates amen so the first application i believe god wants you to pick up from this verse is the fact that seasons will go and seasons will come amen but in god in god which is in the word of god every day is your season can i get an amen in life seasons go and seasons come but in god every day is your season can i get an amen and that is what i want you to understand every day is your season in god and 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 god is a god of season don't get me wrong but the point is that with god all seasons are possible in a time in a day in life you have to wait for the season of a thing before you can have it you understand that in life you have to wait for a season of a thing before you can have but with the word of god you can have mango in orange season just because you are in his word because the word endure it forever the word is able to bring to pass whatever you need at any point in time praise the lord and so i want you to rest upon the word of god and know that i am praying because of god's word i am living my life because of god's words because of god's word i meditate upon these podcasts because of god's word and therefore when i face the challenges of life i know that i don't care it doesn't have to be my season because i mean the word of god i'm already in my season and anything can happen if i continue to trust the lord so the first thing you must take home today is the fact that in the word of god every day is your season amen is that a beautiful thing so you have to confess it every day and i i'm a, i'm the type of person that tries to push things to its right season but hey in god every day is your season. so the second thing we begin to come across is also that he compares the word of god to flowers which i just uh, identified that the flower represent the beautiful things in life your your natural beauty your natural talents your your financial capacity and all the blessings that you carry they are also uh captured as flowers amen you notice that jesus will say something like uh look at the flowers they don't do anything but none of them can uh none of them will lose a beauty contest with solomon in all his splendor and glory so flower represent the beauty of life and all of those things also are seasonal but in the word of god is not seasonal hallelujah may the word of god beautify you may the word of god bring you to your season may the word of god lift you up may the word of god uphold you may the word of god heal you may the word of god deliver you may the word of god preserve you may the word of god give you a new job may the word of god give you what you need may the word of god uplift you may the word of god begins to deliver you may the word of god begin to give you a season may the word of god give you the beauty you desire may the word of god give you the husband you need may the god the word of god give you the wife you need 
may the word of god give you the wisdom you need may the word of god give you the understanding you need may the word of god give you the blessings you need may the word of god give you the life you need may the word of god give you the connection you need may the word of god give you the breakthrough you need may the word of god give you the favor you need may the word of god give you all that you need pertaining to life and godliness may the word of god supply your needs may the word of god supply you all that concerns you may the word of god that abide forever may it cause your blessings to abide may it cause your favor to abide may it cause your hand to hold that which god has given you in the name of jesus because the flower face that lives with her but the word of elohim abide forever now abide forever is what we are now going to finish our podcast on so abide forever means that um not only is it consistent but it's also true all the time hallelujah the word of god is true all the time that's why it cancels seasons and it cancels availability of strength the word of god is true all the time and he says my word does not return to me void but it goes and accomplish that which i've sent it to accomplish and all you have to do is begin to believe the word of god concerning everything he has said if god says do not worry just do not worry because the word that comes out of the mouth of god it comes to perform that which god intended to do and he says that's in return to me void as the water falls and it waters the ground so my word will come and accomplish that which god has said are you in need of anything trust in the word of god are you in need of anything put your let me tell you something put the word of god on your children put the word of god on your finances put the word of god on your family put the word of god on everything father in the name of jesus i place the word of god on this podcast and i distribute into every family every home every heart every person whatever their story is may the word of god that i'm speaking today may it go and be a blessing to them may the word of god through the scriptures that they read every day may it be a blessing to them may because of the word of god somebody listening to me you are being delivered leave it out of what the devil has planned against you because of the word of god somebody out here is also receiving a, a future and a hope because of the word of god somebody also is receiving healing right now because of the word of god somebody also is receiving an open door because of the word of god somebody is transitioning from a lower level to a higher level because of the word of god somebody is receiving healing and deliverance from sin because of the word of god somebody is also receiving what god had promised them long time ago because of the word of god you are growing from glory to glory in the name of jesus the word of god abide forever amen the word of god abide forever amen now let me tell you you and i we are in a temporal state of life but the word of god that has given birth to us brings us to a permanent state of life one thing i know is that because of the word of god that has given birth to you your confidence in god's word your confidence in depending on the truth of the word of god is going to save you from every challenges that you can find yourself in amen the word of God abided forever. Abided forever. Now, let me show you something before we go. Um, the entrance of his word brings light and understanding to the simple. The word endure or abide is the sweet spot of the whole verse. That is... Um, it still captures all the other things but it kind of crystallizes everything because when the word of god is abiding forever what it says is that the word of god is self-contained and therefore it feeds on itself to and to stay in the game all the time seasons don't affect the potency and the efficacy of the word of god amen absence and presence of certain elements does not affect the validity and the authenticity of the word of god people places and plans cannot thwart that which is written a committee a family witchcraft 
clans of enemies cannot eradicate, cannot remove, cannot rewrite the word of God. Conspiracies, isms and schisms cannot. You know, we have, we've, we've had, this generation has been the most isms, schisms generation of all times. And due to, because of Corona, everything that will be turned has been turned. We've had, there's no tight all the way to, you can marry double in, in church, all the way to, Jesus is a fictional character, all the way to, God doesn't exist. We've seen it all in this Corona season. But the word of Elohim abide there forever. A whole generation can turn their back on God, but the word of God abide forever. That is what I mean. The flower fades, the leaves wither. But the I don't have to preach the word of God for the word of God to abide. The heavens declare his glory. Amen. 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 The word of God is uh ever living. Because we, we, we are not forever in our state. It, we need the word of God to, to exist in the first place. Both in time and eternity. Word of God speak. Pour out like rain. We need you. Amen. The song where it says, I found myself in the midst of the world pray that you will begin to speak to each and every one of us so clearly in a way we understand that we will worship you O word of God you became flesh you are Jesus Christ the son of the living God Amen, Amen, God bless you